Hey guys, it's Amy. Forgot I had these on. Um, so we're going to start a new unit, I guess, or chapter this week. Um, I'm going to go through immune system. So it's cold and flu season and um, it, the temperature shifted in Texas where I'm at. And I know a lot of people are getting sick or going to get sick. So I really wanted to dive deep into this topic because I feel like there's a lot of misconceptions on it, um, as well as a lot of things you can do um, just on a day-to-day -day basis to prevent yourself from getting sick. So one thing is that you want to pay attention to the fact that um, it is a myth that when it gets hot and when it gets cold and that switch in temperature, that is what's causing you to get sick. That is not true. It's a myth. Um, what's actually causing you to get sick is a couple of things. It's a weakened immune system. So your immune system was already weak when it was hot, but when it switched to being cold, uh, cold and flu viruses replicate faster in cold weather. So you're just being exposed to more because there are more, so that's why you usually get sick. Uh, it's also um, something that people always say, it's like, oh, it's a, the, it's just because I'm around more people um, and their, their immune systems are compromised. Um, so I have to make sure that I get the flu shot and all that. I'm not saying not to get the flu shot. Um, I personally, I can tell you from experience, I have not gotten the flu shot since I was in college. Um, because when you're in school, you have to, to get it. Um, now you can get out of it, but I didn't know that at the time. So I would get the flu shot every single year and every single year I got the flu. So when I started getting into health, I stopped getting the flu shot. I was just like, I'm getting the flu anyway. Why am I going to put myself through getting the flu shot? Cause I was always, I was always getting sick. I would get like two or three days of, of, you know, flu like symptoms after getting the flu shot. So I was like, why am I doing this? I'm just going to get away from the flu. Um, get away from the flu shot. So that's my choice. I did that. Um, I am going to talk about through the next week or two, maybe three weeks on how I don't get sick anymore. I rarely, rarely, rarely get the flu. If I get the flu, I am over it in two to three days. And I've had bronchitis and got over it in three days. Um, it is possible and it's, you just have to stick to it. So one of the main things that I do is I make sure my immune system is not weak. Um, there's, I'm not going to go through all those right now because that's a, is a ton of different things, but that is the first and foremost thing. If your immune system is compromised, any little virus that's around you, you're going to get any bacteria, anything that's, a, you're going to get, your body's not going to be able to handle it. So the first thing you want to do is figure out if your immune system is weak. If it is, you need to do something about it. Um, for the one thing I will say is health. What, what are you eating? Um, if you're eating a bunch of immune compromising foods, your immune system is going to be sick. Um, the second thing I really, I do is of course, essential oils. Um, there is something called a flu bomb that I know many of you use while um, this past flu season. And I know some of you are already starting to ask me about this flu season. And if you don't know what that is, if you're a doTERRA client and you don't know what the flu bomb is, I'm gonna explain it. If you're not a doTERRA client, um, get your butt to a make and take because we are making flu bombs. That's what this, if you can read it, oh, it's kind of so goldy, so you can't see it. But this is a bomb and you're able to roll it on yourself, um, roll on the bottom of your feet, roll it on your spine, and it's going to help you get through flu season. So what's actually in that is there's five oils. So let me see if you can, there's melaleuca. Uh, there you go. Melaleuca, oregano, frankincense, lemon and on guard. So in this bomb, um, we put, there's a, I forget the specific recipe, but there's a couple of drops of each. What I do when you get sick. So this is word of caution. One, please do not go to the regular store and get these five oils and do what I'm about to say. Um, because the ones in the store are synthetic. They have fillers. Even if they say hundred percent natural, I guarantee you, they say not for internal use. I'm about to tell you to take them internally. So do not do that <laughs> with the ones from the store because you can get sick and not in a, in a good way um, because you are ingesting chemicals. These all have supplement facts on them. So per the FDA, they have supplement facts. So you can take all of them internally. Okay. So what I do when I get sick is I actually have empty gel capsules. And you can get these anywhere at Sprouts. You can get them at Whole Foods. I get them from doTERRA. Um, but you basically pour drops in here. I'm not going to do it because I'm not taking one. I'm not sick right now. 
and you cover it up and pretend I had drops of those and you take it. So how many? That's a question I just got this, this past week. How many drops of each? So depending on how sick you are, depending on who's taking it, like if you're a 100-pound person, if you're a 200-pound person, if you are just feeling that little tickle in your throat, or are you full-blown sick? Depends. So start with two drops, um, but I highly recommend just texting me and, and telling me who's this for and how sick you are. But anywhere from two to four drops, four is the max, and you want to do this three times a day until, you, until you're better, okay? Think of it like uh, Ray and I were talking about this the other day. Think of it like antibiotics. Um, I have a friend, her husband got sick, and he took one of these, and then he was like, oils don't work for me. Uh, just like antibiotics. Do you take one dose of antibiotics and expect it to work? No. You do antibiotics for 7 to 10 days, or 7 to 14, whatever it is. I haven't taken antibiotics in years, so I don't see it. I know you take it for a couple of days. Uh, oils are the same thing. Um, I had got bronchitis right before my friend's wedding. Um, I did this for four days straight. I was good on the second day. The third day I was feeling really, really good, but it was right before a wedding, so I wanted to make sure I was there was no chance I was getting sick or getting gonna get worse. So I did this. I was literally in the airport. It must look like a crazy person. I was making these in the airport so I can take them up before I got up because it was I needed three times a day and my third time was in the middle of the of my flight. So I was sitting there in the the airport doing it. So I don't recommend, and this is something I told somebody this past week too, I do not recommend taking this every day as a preventative, okay? Oregano is too strong to do that. This oil is incredibly, incredibly strong. It's one of the hot oils. So do not just say, oh, it's flu season. I'm just going to do this bomb three times a day. Don't do that. Um, think of these, they are, medic they are medicinal, so you don't want to do that. Um, you want to take use them as you would use medication and be smart about it, right? They're very powerful, so you don't want to just be popping them just because you want to. Um, you want to be use it when you need it, okay? So um, make sure that if you are a doTERRA client that you have these five in your arsenal coming up because I know I'm, I'm already getting calls and texts and messages about sickness and, and flu, and these are the five that I'm going to recommend. So to recap, it's melaleuca, frankincense, oregano, lime, and on guard, okay? Make sure you have those five. If you have no other oils in your, in your cabinet, have those five because the second somebody tells me that they're sick, I'm going to say, do you have those five oils? Because with those five oils, I can, we can knock anything out. They're all antiviral, they're antibacterial, antifungal. So whatever is causing your cold or flu, it's usually flu is obviously a virus. Most colds are called by viruses as well. If it's any of those, it's going to get knocked out. Remember, anti and antibiotics do not kill viruses. They only kill bacteria. So if you have a virus, there's almost nothing besides essential oils because they can get into the cell that can actually kill the virus. Usually when you go to the doctor and they tell you you have a virus, they tell you go home and rest because there's no, there's no um, over-the-counter medication that can help it. Um, so if you do not have essential oils, get your butt to an essential oil class. At least get this bomb. You can't take this internally because we're going to put fractionated coconut oil in it. But at least you can put it on the bottom of your feet, and that will help tremendously. So look out for this the rest of the week. I'm going to be saying other things besides oils that help strengthen your immune system, okay? Um, we want to start there. We want to be preventative about that. Um, one more note uh, on, uh, on guard. If you have on guard, let me show the actual thing. This is one that you can do preventatively. So this is called the protective blend. This is one that you can um, make. I love, love making tea with this. You take one or two drops in hot water, put a little honey. I use raw honey. Um, you can use whatever sugar or no sugar if you want. Um, and I just drink tea. I also diffuse this. So if you are working with a lot of people, I usually work from my house. There's nobody here, <laughs> so I'm fine. But if you work in a school or if you work, if you're a teacher, if you're a nurse, or if you're just around a lot of people, make sure you're diffusing on guard, at least at home. Most people can't diffuse it in their, in their um, workplace. Um, if you can, go for it. But diffuse this because it's going to help the people around you not get it, and it's going to help you get it. If somebody in your house starts getting sick, the second you know one person is sick, diffuse on guard. Start diffusing it like crazy. 
the great thing about this, it smells like Christmas. So it's not going to smell super medicinally or, or, or like, it's not going to smell gross in your house. It's people are going to be like, Oh, what are you, what, what candle are you burning? Because it smells like cloves and orangey and it, it just smells good. So nobody's even going to know that you're actually killing all the uh, airborne bacteria and viruses in the, in your house. So on guard is one that you can take daily. You can take preventatively. Do not take the flu bomb preventatively. Only take that when you start actually feeling sick. So that's it for today. If you have any questions, um, comment in the, the post or in this video or message me. You guys all know where to find me. Facebook Messenger if you have my number. Um, if you don't have my number, just ask for it. <laughs> or just message me. Just find me somewhere. I'm happy to ask questions. I want the, the least amount of people to have the flu this season. And if you do get it, I want you to be over it in two to three days. So let's get that going and I'll see you next time.